Hi there, and welcome back to The Binger. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. There are so many Disney-created characters that we all know. Characters like Cinderella, Snow White's Evil Queen, and The Lion King Simba are pop culture touchstones. But what about all those Disney characters we've forgotten about? Throughout Disney's long history, there have been more than a few awesome characters who haven't gotten their proper due. We're using this video to correct that oversight, one character at a time. Grimsby We all know Ariel and Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. King Triton and Flounder will ring a bell too. But how many of us remember Grimsby, Prince Eric's caretaker? He may not believe in mermaids when the movie starts, but he does want the best for Eric. He's also the first to recognize, even before Ariel gets her voice back, that she is warm and caring and will make a good match for the prince. And when Ursula disguises herself as Vanessa, Grimsby seems suspicious of her. So even though he wasn't as funny or musical as some of the other characters, he certainly had an important role in the movie. Hades Hercules wasn't the most popular Disney movie of all time, but it boasted a great villain. James Woods voiced the character with equal parts evil, dry wit, and sarcasm. That made Hades seem truly dangerous, yet at the same time he was often hilarious as well. So even though he wasn't the nicest guy, it was hard not to enjoy watching him, and maybe experience a twinge, just a twinge of sympathy. While there have been many fantastic Disney villains over the years, Hades deserves his own featured spot in the pantheon of baddies. Princess Kida The Disney princesses are some of the most well-known characters around. With so many to choose from, almost everyone has a favorite. Whether it's Snow White, Sleeping Beauty's Aurora, or Beauty and the Beast's Belle, the princesses are fan favorites. Yet there has been more than one princess in Disney's movies that hasn't been allowed to join the lineup. One of those characters is Princess Kida from Atlantis The Lost Empire. Kida isn't just the daughter of the King of Atlantis, she's also an impressive warrior. Of course, her movie wasn't exactly a smash hit. That may be the reason behind Disney's decision to keep her away from her fellow princesses. Pearl Finding Nemo was one of Disney Pixar's most popular movies. However, it also included a whole lot of undersea creatures that many of us don't remember that well. One of those creatures was Pearl, a tiny pink octopus. Pearl was part of Mr. Ray's class and a friend of Nemo's. While she doesn't have a lot of screen time, one of her most notable traits is the way she shoots out squid ink whenever she gets nervous. She also claims that she has one tentacle that's shorter than the others, although it's awfully hard to notice that. Wheezy Wheezy is another lesser-known character that hails from a popular Disney Pixar film. This time, the film is Toy Story 2. The squeaky rubber penguin was one of Andy's favorite toys until his squeaker broke and he ended up trapped on the shelf. Poor guy! Luckily, his squeaker is eventually fixed and he dazzles the other toys with a rendition of the song You've Got a Friend in Me. Despite that, he was only briefly seen again. It's hard to say what happened to Wheezy in the Toy Story films, and in real life as fans of the franchise seem to have forgotten about him. But who could ever forget a penguin with the singing voice of Robert Goulet? Angel The movie Lilo and Stitch was a charming tale of a little girl and her pet alien. But did you know after the movie ended, the story continued? There's actually a whole Lilo and Stitch franchise with multiple movies and a TV show, and lots of new characters. Many of these characters are the other experiments before Stitch. And since Stitch is Experiment 626, there are plenty of them to meet. One of the most important is Experiment 624, who's named Angel. Angel's power is to convert the formerly evil back to their dastardly ways. But all she really wants to do is hang out with Stitch, her true love, and perform as the intergalactic pop star she is. Is. Kronk The Emperor's new groove didn't set the box office on fire. Nevertheless, it was filled with pretty great characters, and the best of them was the henchman Kronk. Kronk may have fallen in with someone evil, but he was anything but. In fact, he was always trying to work out his moral dilemmas by speaking with the angel and devil on his shoulders. Even though he wasn't always that quick, his real talents had nothing to do with aiding villains. He was an exceptional chef, and he could even talk to squirrels. How many Disney characters can boast that combination of skills? Jock The title characters of Lady and the Tramp may get all the love, but the movie actually features a gaggle of charming pups. Each one has their own personality, and one of our favorites is Jock, a Scottish terrier who counts himself among ladies' pals. Like many terriers, Jock is small but uppity. He's loyal to those he cares about, but will lash out at anyone who doesn't belong, even if they're many times his size. Still, Jock's got a great spirit. Trusty we couldn't bring up Jock without mentioning his best friend, Trusty. 
Trusty is an elderly bloodhound. In his glory days, he was a great tracker, but when we meet him in Lady and the Tramp, he's lost his sense of smell and gotten absent-minded. While Jock and Trusty initially misjudge Tramp, once they realize he is a good dog, they do their best to redeem themselves. They try to help Tramp by running after the dog catcher's wagon that takes him away. Poor Trusty's even hit by the wheel in the process. Jock initially thinks the worst, but thankfully Trusty only broke his leg. Jock and Trusty are very good dogs. Ichabod Crane one of Disney's oddest and perhaps most obscure films was 1949's The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Ichabod Crane is the main character of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow segment in the film, and he's quite a strange fellow. But he loves to eat and enjoys reading. Two activities we can get on board with. Of course, he falls in love with Katrina Van Tassel for all the wrong reasons, but we still wonder exactly what happened to him in the end. Sure, he encountered the Headless Horseman, but the Headless Horseman wasn't really real, right? Watch the movie for yourself and see. Tito Oliver and Company was an animated animal version of Oliver Twist, with a cat in the title role. Most of the characters in the movie aren't especially well known, but they should be. And that goes double for Tito. Tito is voiced by Cheech Marin. Marin also voiced the much more popular character Banzai, one of the hyenas from The Lion King. But it's as Tito that he really gets a chance to shine. Tito is a tiny chihuahua who's willing to take all comers. He's also quite the wisecracker. Fiery and fierce, Tito is a character everyone should get to know. The Doorknob you might think a sentient doorknob would get a lot of attention from moviegoers, but if you happen to be a part of the movie Alice in Wonderland, you'd be wrong. Perhaps it's because Alice in Wonderland is filled with so many strange characters that it was easy to overlook the humble doorknob. However, the doorknob played a key role in the story. Not only is he the face of the entrance to Wonderland, but he also instructs Alice on more than one occasion. Many of the characters in Wonderland may be weird, but they aren't always so nice. At least the doorknob is somewhat kind, albeit a big grouch. Chernabog Chernabog is one of the scariest characters to ever appear in a Disney movie, and yet he isn't nearly as famous as villains like The Little Mermaid's Ursula or Jafar from Aladdin. Chernabog was the winged demon who appeared in the Night on Bald Mountain sequence in the movie Fantasia. And what a night he has! Chernabog summons souls of all kinds to wreak havoc as darkness falls. He doesn't seem to have a real reason, he just pursues chaos and evil for the fun of it. That makes him pretty intimidating. So while he may not be as well developed as some other Disney villains, his ability to embody evil is second to none. Max Goof Everyone knows Goofy is one of Disney's most beloved core characters, but did you know Goofy had a son? When he was first introduced, he was simply known as Goofy Jr., but later the character was rechristened as Max. When he was a child, Max accompanied Goofy on many of his silly adventures. When he got older, though, Max became embarrassed by his father and his ridiculous shenanigans. And by the time he appeared in a Goofy movie, a teenage Max's worst fear was that he'd grow up to be just like his father. Unlike his zany dad, Max is calm and collected, a goof worth knowing. Cyril Proudbottom J. Thaddeus Toad is the star of the Wind in the Willows sequence of the movie The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. However, Cyril Proudbottom is an important character who's also easy to overlook. Okay, so Cyril wasn't exactly the best influence on Toad. First, he was Toad's horse, riding around everywhere with him. Then he told Toad about cars and helped him obtain one, to his friend's ruin. Yet, Cyril also helped Toad escape from jail and take off in a plane. Besides, who can hold a grudge against a character who sings the catchy tune, We're Merrily on Our Way? Tony when it comes to life-changing musical accompaniment, the character that provides the best in the Disney canon may be Tony. In Lady and the Tramp, the restaurant proprietor provides Tramp and his new lady love with a delectable Italian meal. But he doesn't stop there. He also plays the accordion and serenades the couple with the song Bella Notte as they dine. Has a stray dog ever had a better human friend? Widow Tweed Widow Tweed from The Fox and the Hound is the kindly old widow who takes in the fox cub, Todd, after his mother is taken by a hunter. She is a wonderful caretaker for Todd, and more than once she stands up to her belligerent neighbor Amos Slade for going after the little fox. Eventually, in one of the saddest scenes committed to film, she makes the selfless decision to release Todd into the forest to protect him. While Todd the Fox and Copper the Hound are the stars of the movie, Widow Tweed gives it a lot of extra heart. Rufus Kim Possible's Rufus is a naked mole rat. If you've ever seen a real naked mole rat, you know they aren't the most attractive animals, but Rufus is kinda cute. He lives in the pocket of Ron Stoppable and helps he and Kim on their missions. He's even pretty smart for a naked mole rat. While Kim and even Ron get most of the glory, Rufus deserves some credit too. David Coenna 
When the movie Lilo and Stitch first hit the big screen, it introduced us to many characters of the alien and human variety. The one that was given perhaps the least attention was David, but David actually had a lot to offer. He's a friend of Lilo's older sister, Nani. While it's clear he wants to be more, it's not clear if he's made a move yet. If anything, it seems that he respects Nani's challenging family situation and is being patient with her. In the meantime, David hangs out a lot with Nani, Lilo, and Stitch and is like a big brother to Lilo. He's also laid back and a fantastic surfer, making him a lot of fun to hang out with. Sergeant Tibbs 101 Dalmatians may be a dog movie, but it's a loyal cat who rescues the kidnapped puppies. Sergeant Tibbs not only figures out where the puppies are being held, he also infiltrates the house and leads the puppies away from captivity. If that weren't heroic enough, Tibbs shields the puppies from Cruella DeVille's henchmen even though he isn't much bigger than any one of them. He even takes the henchmen on when he has to. The final push to protect all those puppies may have been a group effort, but it was Tibbs who made sure it could happen in the first place. That's one awesome cat. Bolt Bolt is the title of a 2008 Disney film, and it's also the name of the White Shepherd who stars in it. Bolt is another movie that hasn't been as popular as some other Disney features, but that's really too bad. Bolt is a pampered pooch who's under the impression that the TV show he stars in is real. When he accidentally finds himself in the real world and learns he doesn't have superpowers, he realizes his life has been a lie, and then he proves he's a hero anyway. Bolt is a spirited and lovable pup. Plus, by the end of the movie, he has two awesome friends, the sarcastic cat Mittens and the overly enthusiastic hamster Rhino. George Sanderson Monsters, Inc. was full of fun monster characters, but perhaps none of them had a more difficult time during the film than George Sanderson, a workaday monster just trying to do his job. George is the unlucky monster who ends up with a child's sock on his back after he comes through his door into the monster world. His assistant immediately calls in the code for the situation and George is mercilessly shaved and decontaminated. The same thing happens again when he encounters Boo's toys in his locker, and it almost happens a third time when Mike and Sully use his door to return from Nepal. This time, though, he stops his assistant before he can tattle again. By the end of the film, George's fur is all grown back and he seems much happier making kids laugh than scaring him. Good for you, George! Chef Boucher there are a whole mess of characters from Beauty and the Beast that take on the guise of objects due to the Enchantress's spell, and not all of them receive a great deal of screen time. One of those characters is Chef Boucher. Even though the character is barely seen, however, his impact on the movie is undeniable. Chef Boucher is the Beast's chef. Therefore, he's the one responsible for making all the meals Belle and the Beast enjoy throughout the film. And he's also the mastermind behind the show stopping Be Our Guest. He even made the delicious gray stuff, so even though he may stay out of sight, Chef Boucher shouldn't be out of mind. Monsieur Dark While Chef Boucher helped bring Belle and the Beast together, Monsieur Dark does his best to help drive them apart. While Gaston gets all the attention in many ways, Dark is far more despicable. Dark runs the asylum and strikes a deal with Gaston to throw Belle's father in his institution unless she agrees to marry him. Dark is partially motivated by the money he'll get for complying with Gaston's plan. However, he seems just as motivated by the opportunity to make Belle and her father suffer. One way or another, Dark is not a good person. He's worth putting on your radar even if it's just to make sure you can keep an eye on him. Cricky. When it comes to Mulan, the sidekick everyone remembers is Mushu. His larger-than-life jokester personality makes him hard to ignore. Yet Mushu isn't the only one who accompanies Mulan into battle. The cricket Cricky comes too. Cricky is first given to Mulan by Grandmother Fa because she believes he's a lucky cricket. Cricky later confesses he's not really lucky. However, he helped Mulan save China and ensured everything worked out for her in the end. That seems awfully lucky to us. Giselle Another Disney princess who didn't make it into the official Disney princess lineup is Giselle from Enchanted. But that doesn't mean she should be forgotten. In fact, Giselle is unique to the Disney princesses because she's the only one who starts her movie as an animated character and then becomes human. Giselle, of course, is just as naive and ruled by fairy tale logic as any princess who never makes the transition to human. Giselle's sweetly earnest nature, as depicted by Amy Adams, makes her incredibly endearing, though. And who doesn't enjoy a good send up of the Disney princesses anyway? Anastasia. This last character may surprise you. It's Anastasia. She's an animated princess, and many people have mistaken her for a Disney princess. However, her movie was actually made by Fox Animation Studios. But with the recent acquisition of Fox by Disney, though, Anastasia is officially a Disney character through and through. That means she can now be included when it comes to talk of great Disney characters. 
In her self-titled film, Anastasia is the lone survivor of an attack on the Russian royal family by the evil Rasputin. She's plucky, she's brave, and now as a Disney character, maybe she'll get even more attention than she has in the past. Which of these Disney characters do you think is the most underrated? Do you know of other forgotten Disney characters who should get more attention? Tell us all about it in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe to The Binger for more fun pop culture videos. And hey, thanks so much for watching.